Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a pretty exciting video. I have the 10 brand new releases from the Sensi Spring Summer 2024 catalog. Can we first talk about how freaking cute this catalog is? We have a little puppy. There's a little cat on the windowsill. Look at that little lemon warmer. Let me know. If you're one of my customers and you would like a catalog, if you email me, I'll put my email down below and shoot me an email with your address and I will be glad to send you a catalog. And let me know if you guys want me to do a virtual catalog walkthrough. I think that'd be exciting. I really want to do a lot more with Sensi on my YouTube channel this year. And I think doing a brand new catalog walkthrough could be super, super fun. But there's lots of new things in this catalog, including the 10 brand new releases for the 2024 catalog. Now, before we get into these new releases, I have some other first sniffs before we get started. I have the St. Patrick's Day Bar as well as the Easter Trio. So, Without further ado, let's get into it. Sensi loves to give us all the things for all the holidays, including a little St. Patrick's Day collection. Now, there is a warmer of the month, which if you did not see that video, I will link that down below as well, where I talked about the scent and the warmer of the month. The scent, Shamrock Splash, is incredible. It's tangerine, it's strawberry, it's jasmine, it's so pretty. But there's also a mini collection that just launched today on my website or your consultant's website. I'm not uploading this video until Friday, so this set will be available then unless it sells out. But the scent in the collection is Follow the Rainbow, and it is such a pretty purple bar. I have not sniffed it yet. This will be my first sniffs. And the notes read, a vibrant mix of golden pineapple, sugar berries, and blood orange journeys to the end of the rainbow. Now, I'm not a huge fan of blood orange, but I love pineapple. Let's give it a sniff. Okay. I feel like, I feel like this is something Scentsy has already. Like, it's a fruity fragrance. There's nothing much to it. It smells like pineapple. I don't necessarily think it's like blood orange necessarily. I mean, that is the note in there, but <clears throat> I wouldn't say if you don't like blood orange, you won't like this because I don't care for blood orange fragrances. But yeah, it's just okay to me. It's like that citrus fruit that Scentsy does all the time. So, yep, it's okay. Follow the rainbow. I'll melt it. I'll enjoy it, but I don't think it's club worthy. Now, on to the Easter collection. I think Easter is such a fun holiday, but what I love most are the scents of Easter. So, Scentsy, let me read directly from Scentsy themselves. Scentsy Collection launches February 26th. Scentsy's Easter Collection is coming soon, featuring bright fragrances, joyful decor, and adorable new kids' products. Among the new newcomers is Rhubarb the Rabbit, Scentsy's very first Betty Bye Buddy, a new product line featuring a small Scentsy Buddy whose box doubles as a toy bed. Super cute. Rhubarb and the rest of the collection will be available February 26th, but as consultants, you are able to access the new Scentsy Bars with an early access bundle. So these guys will be available on February 26th for $17, the three bars. We have Lemon Lime Fizz, Peach and Grapefruit Mimosa, and Strawberry Bliss. Now, there's also a Disney Bambi collection launching that same day with Scentsy Buddies. You are able to buy the Scentsy Bars individually or add them to your Scentsy Club as well. There's a mini warmer, fan diffuser, all sorts of good stuff coming on the 26th. But let's dive into the fragrances. Now, I have watched a lot of videos, and it seems like this guy is getting the least amount of love, so I want to sniff it first. We have Strawberry Bliss. Now, I love strawberry fragrances, so I was excited, but I've heard, like, chapstick or plastic or, like, baby doll, so we shall see. The notes read, Strawberry Bliss is strawberry puree and jasmine bedazzled with fizzy champagne. Let's see. Oh, 
um, it's not my favorite strawberry. Hmm. Yeah, I can see like the plasticky note as far as strawberry goes. It definitely smells like an artificial strawberry. Well, with the note strawberry bliss. I don't really get a ton. Oh, I just dropped the bar of that effervescent strawberry. So yeah, uh, not a favorite. Uh, next we have peach and grapefruit mimosa, this bright orange bar. I love orange, so this looks super fun. Bright grapefruit and sweet peach notes with a playful dash of vanilla. I love all three of those notes. Wow, is that strong. <laughs> that is a strong grapefruit. Wow, I'm immediately greeted with grapefruit. Like, immediately grapefruit, immediately zesty, bright citrus. I'm not getting a ton of peach. And I know peach can really turn, like, cat urine to a lot of people. But the peach note in here is not super, super strong. I think it might come out more as you warm it. Because right now, on cold, I'm not getting a lot of that peach. Which is okay. Yeah, I'm not getting much peach. It just smells like a very citrusy grapefruit bar. So, we shall see. And then this is the one that I was probably the most excited about when I heard about this collection. Lemon Lime Fizz. Let me pick up this bar. I love lemon fragrances and I love fizzy fragrances. So I feel like I'm going to love this one. The notes on Lemon Lime Fizz are vanilla sugar brings out the joy in fizzing lemon and lime. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's exactly how I thought it would be. It's zesty lemon lime. Now, I will say, as I'm smelling this, it does lean a little bit cleaner, but that's not a bad thing. Like, I don't know why there's a preconceived notion, like when I think cleaner, I think it's gonna smell bad. Like, cleaner is good. Like. They make cleaners to smell good because they're scenting your home when they're clean. You know what I mean? So it does smell like a lemon cleaner, but not like Pledge. Just like a very bright lemon cleaner. I don't really get that effervescent either. I think it's because I'm used to Vendor Wax lemon, like Fizz, which is insanely strong and bubbly. Where like more retail and scentsy is more subtle bubbly. Oh, but I do really like this. This is definitely my favorite. So funny. The way I smelled them is the way I would rate them. Strawberry Bliss is my least favorite. Then Peach and Grapefruit Mimosa. And then I think my favorite is the Lemon Lime Fizz. I really like this. Yeah. I really like this. So I'm excited to melt them and see how they perform. But otherwise, I think Lemon Lime Fizz is my favorite. That will be available on February 26th on my website or your consultant's website. All right. Now, before we dive into the new releases, I did pick up another early access bundle. As consultants, you're able to pick up a few early access bundles. And I picked up the laundry bundle. So we are introducing a brand new fragrance to laundry this year, Wild Flower Cotton. Now, Wildflower Cotton was part of the Mother's Day collection last year, which is funny because it smells very similar to Sandalwood Tangerine, which I loved. I know a lot of people didn't get the greatest throw from it, but I loved both of these. They do smell almost exactly the same, which is ironic because this was for Mother's Day and it smells more masculine and Sandalwood Tangerine came out for Father's Day. And I believe, I can just look right here, that Sandalwood Tangerine made it into the new catalog, but this um, Wildflower Cotton did not. I'm 99% sure. Yep, so the new, or the Sandalwood Tangerine from the, um, the Father's Day collection did launch in this collection, in the catalog, but the Wildflower Cotton did not. It's only available in Laundry, which Laundry has its very own page in the catalog. I love our laundry line. 
I will say my least favorite product in the laundry line are the dryer discs. I feel like they don't really do much to the laundry, but we are introducing dryer sheets. Now they are currently sold out. They only debuted in the clothesline fragrance, but if you are interested in dryer discs like I am, you can order it in the Scentsy Whiff box, which is exciting. It's like a mystery subscription box that we have. So really like that. But the Wildflower Cotton in the bundle, you got the dryer discs, you got the laundry liquid. And I know you're probably like, this is only a 20 ounce bottle. How many loads of laundry? You guys, you use two pumps of this for a small load three for medium and four for a large. The biggest load of laundry is four pumps, which it's literally like this much detergent. Like it's not a lot of detergent at all. You really get a ton of use out of the laundry liquids. But then we got the gateway to Scentsy, the washer whiffs. You might think it's wax and warmers, but when you try our washer whiffs, you are hooked. I'm actually using my bedding. I'm washing my bedding right now in Fall Into Love, which I just adore. I adore that fragrance. So I love using it on my bedding. It just makes the bedding smell super fresh. I do have more sensitive skin on my body. I tend to get like a lot of rashes and I don't have an issue with the Scentsy Laundry. So let's give Wild Flower Cotton a sniff. Oh, I really like this. It is very masculine, but it does give you that hint of fresh laundry, like that cotton scent. Oh, I really like this. Great choice, Scentsy. Oh, I'm super excited to wash. I think I might like wash a couple of my robes and towels in this to see. And the packaging right now, super, super cute. And let me see. There we go. I wanted to get a little bit more bright. Ah, uh, I love the packaging. All right, so that is the washer whiffs. Now let's move on to the 10 new releases available on March 1st. So this entire catalog is launching on March 1st, which is such an exciting time in Scentsy land. So let's grab a sip of Diet Coke and let's sniff together the new releases. Now I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order starting with Bamboo and Rainfall. Now, in the last couple years, I was strictly a bakery guy. I enjoyed other fragrances, but bakery was my favorite. I have kind of shifted away from bakery, more into the fresh, clean, masculine fragrances, more woody, more fresh, more clean, and just more what I've been gravitating towards. So I've been super excited to sniff this one. Sensi says, an exhilarating rainfall pours down over fresh bamboo and a bright melon water in a tranquil moment. So we have rainfall, bamboo water, and melon water. Let's see. Oh, I love. This smells exactly like something from Bath and Body Works, though. And I can't, I can't place it. Oh, I love. This is great. Okay, Sensi, already a winner. This is really good. This is very aquatic without smelling cologne. -y. It's almost exactly like I pictured it would. It's green. It's aquatic. It's fresh. It's a little bit sweet from that melon water. But don't think like, I know Bath and Body Works has like a fresh bamboo candle and it's very strong. I love that scent. This is not like that. Oh, I really like this though. I really like it. Oh, it's fresh and clean. I think this would be a good bedroom or bathroom fragrance. I don't know necessarily that I would burn this or melt this in like my living room or dining room area. We shall see though. Okay, so we have that guy. Next, and I will rate these two. We have Berry Sweet. Berry Sweet right here. Love the name. And the notes read, fresh blueberries and red strawberries coated in a sweet candy glaze are as sweet as can be. I'm a little nervous about the sweet candy glaze because last year we had a fragrance apple teeny splash and it had a simple syrup note, which I just did not care for. Mm. Um, this is like, this smells like a one and done bar for me. Don't think because of the blueberry and the strawberry that it's going to smell like red, white, and berry pie. There's no bakery note in this at all. 
It's very just candied fruit. Very candied fruit. And I, I'm not mad at it. But it's not one that I would be like, oh, I'm craving it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if somebody was melting this in the house, I'd be like, oh, it smells good in here. But I wouldn't be like, I need to know what that is right now so I can order some. It's a very sweet candied fruit. I don't necessarily think if I didn't have the description, I'd be able to guess it was blueberry and strawberry. It just smells like a very sweet, generic candy scent, if that makes any sense. So that's very sweet. Next, I'm very excited to sniff this one. This is a bakery bar. We have two bakery bars in this new releases. Cake Me to Paradise. Now, I am very excited for this. Sweet cake infused with juicy orange and island rum will whisk you away to paradise. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, Sensi. I see you. I see you. This is really good. Okay, now, the first scent that I think of, if you like blank, you will like this. Clementine Cupcake. Wasn't that what it was called? Or Cutie? Clement, not Cutie Pie Cupcake, the other one. Clementine Cupcake, I think, right? It has that sweet sponge cake note, which I enjoy. I don't necessarily think this is boozy. I don't necessarily smell super orange. I know I was watching Brett and Bad Brad. Listen, I was skin I was so good. I'm not watching anybody's videos. And then this package got delayed and I couldn't take it anymore. I hurried up and watched everybody's video. And I know that Brad smelled the orange, but Brett didn't. I'm on side with Brett. I don't really smell orange. I just smell like a sweet cake. Like a sweet frosted cake. Maybe when I melt it, I'll get more of that orange. But right now on cold, I'm just getting sweet cake. I enjoy it, but I'm not getting a ton of cake or a ton of citrus. So we'll see on that one. Next, we have Evening Sky. Now, everybody says this is like Dashing's sister, which I love Dashing from the other catalog, which did make its return into the spring and summer, which is exciting. Light up the night sky with soft bergamot and rich Madagascar vanilla, paving the way for Midnight Lily. Now, we had Midnight Lily in the Midnight Masquerade bar, which I actually just took out of my warmers now in my bedroom. So I have nothing going in my bedroom now. And I like, I really enjoyed that. I liked that Lily note. So we shall see here. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is... Categorized under the floral. It's soft. It's definitely soft. I honestly, and I haven't heard anybody say this. This is almost like an essence of jammy time. I don't, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Every day around 6.30, she just gives me the weather. And I have to figure out how to turn that off. I don't need to know the weather every night. Oh, this is... Yeah, I think if you like dashing, if you like jammy time, if you like those type of fragrances, you'll like this. It's nothing standout. It's actually very light. It's almost like if you had jammy time and you put like three drops of jammy time oil in a bar. It's very light, but it does give me jammy time vibes. Interesting. Not sure how I feel on that yet. Next, Moon Orchid. So we have Moon Orchid. And this guy is Bright Bergamot illuminates a path lined with beautiful night blooming jasmine and vanilla orchid. Let's see. Oh, not what I expected. Very perfumey. Very perfumey. Oh, but really good. I can smell the vanilla orchid. It is like a very sweet, creamy floral. 
I do get the bergamot, but in a bright, like it says bright way, in a very bright way. I know that bergamot is used in a lot of colognes. So a lot of the times when you smell bergamot, you think it's going to smell very cologne or masculine. This does not. This very much reads a bright citrus with this really creamy floral. I really like this. This is a total bedroom scent though. Totally seductive evening bedroom fragrance. And I'm not mad at that at all. I really like this. This actually might go in my bedroom right now. I mean, I don't know if you heard Alexa. There's, oh, no. You heard A-L-E-X-A. -E Flurries tomorrow? Seriously? But I might melt this now. I really like this. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so we have Moon Orchid. Next... I think out of all the names, this one intrigued me the most. Pink Berry Sandalwood. The notes are pink berry and fresh cherry. Add a sweet pop to tonka bean and sandalwood. Oh, I like this. I like this. I've been really, like I said, into these type of fragrances lately. And this is no exception. I really like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is really good. It is very fresh. You get that really creamy tonka bean. Tonka bean can almost lean vanilla, which is ironic because of one of the fragrances in here. But, oh yeah, this is nice. If you like those fresh, fruity type of fragrances, like I feel like if you liked vanilla barnwood, you would like this. This in no way, shape, or form smells like vanilla barnwood, but if you like those type of scents where you have the sandalwood, you have that creamy woodiness with some fruit on top, I think you'd like this. This is really good. Yeah, you definitely get the cherry and the pink berry. Pink berry, it was in something else and I can't think of it, but it does, it's just like, like a bright candy. You know what I mean? It's hard to describe. This is good. This is a top scent. If it performs well, I could see myself wanting this a lot. Oh, I like, I like, 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 like. All right, next is Sippin' Poolside. Now, I am so not a summer boy, but I love these type of scents. Make a splash, palm trees and ocean breeze, um, make a, by the sea. Like, all those type of fragrances I really enjoy, so I feel like this is gonna go in that category. Sit back and relax with fresh pear and sparkling citrus alongside a tranquil aquatic accord. Let's see. No. Mm -mm. This is almost too sweet. This is what I'm going to have to melt because it's very sweet. And I think it's the pear. It's super interesting to see Scentsy really diving into pear during this time of year for spring when it's genuinely, genuinely, generally a fall winter fragrance. It's a very sweet water. Yeah, I would say in the category of aquatics, this is my least favorite on cold. I've melted all the other aquatic -y scents, but I haven't obviously tried this one yet. It's brand new. But, yeah, it's like a sweet, fruity water. I don't hate it, but it's one I definitely am going to need to melt to see how it is. All right. Next, let's see. Sun Castles. We have Sun Castles. Now, everybody and anybody was like, oh, this is going to smell like Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro just based on the description. But... Everybody says it doesn't, so we shall see. Sunny coconut brightens up tropical pistachio and sweet almond in evoking memories of the beach. The beach is my least favorite place to be, so this is interesting. It does not smell like boom boom cream. Hmm. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm immediately thinking body care. 
immediately, like a Bath and Body Works scent. Not that this is a Bath and Body Works scent, but it could be. I feel like this is like a coconut lotion, a pistachio lotion, and an almond lotion. I feel like they're all body care interpretations of the fragrance. So you're not smelling coconut, you're not smelling pistachio, and you're not smelling almond. You're smelling like interpretations of what it should smell like as a body care together. This smells like a scented sunscreen. Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to love this, and I don't. This and Berry Sweet are definitely up there as, like, my least favorites. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely not what I expected, but I don't love it. Now, this one. This one. I feel like this is a scent that's going to get a lot of slack. And it's going to make me sad. Very vanilla. Scentsy has vanilla bean buttercream all the time in the catalog, which is like a bakery vanilla, like a vanilla frosting, vanilla buttercream. They have Simply Vanilla and Vanilla Cream, which are more true essences of vanilla. Although Vanilla Cream kind of has like a coconutty undertone to it. So I am expecting this to be just a great vanilla. Sometimes you just want a good vanilla scent. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing like everybody feels like, well, not everybody. I don't want to speak for everybody. But I feel like a lot of people instantly are like, I don't want vanilla. Like vanilla is basic. Do you know my favorite scent at Bath & Body Works in the body care is still warm vanilla sugar. When I smell that, it still slaps. It's still really great. And it's great and it's been around for a long time because people love it. I don't know how Japanese cherry blossom is still around. It's not a scent for me, but warm vanilla sugar is great for a reason. So I'm excited to see this very vanilla. The notes read, the classic blend of creamy vanilla and tonka bean is smooth and sultry. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is great. This is going in my warmers as soon as I press stop on this video. Yeah, I love. This is exactly what I thought it would be. Creamy, rich, delicious vanilla that's not bakery. This is so great. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. Vanilla. And sometimes vanilla is great. This is put on a great show, a comfort show, or a great movie. Pop this in your warmers in your room, snuggle up in the blanket, and just be like, it smells great in here. This is it. Very vanilla. This is my favorite. So basic, yet so great. And I think this will make an incredible mixer, and we will see this for a long time from Sensi. Now, last but not least, we have Wild Cherry and Sakura. Now, Sakura is, I believe, like a cherry blossom. Wild Cherry accents the delicate beauty of Sakura Blossom and Pink Jasmine. Alexa, what's a Sakura? Sakura is a Japanese cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be like a cherry blossom. Emphasized by jasmine and fruity cherry. Oh, okay. Now, when I watched Brett and Brad, they also said it smells like there's like a spice note in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if you looked at the breakdown of scent because Scentsy only gives us the very basic, like the very base notes in here. Those three notes. There's way more than that in here that's just not listed. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a spice note in here. But don't think spice is like a warm winter spice. It, like, accentuates the scent. Oh, this is really nice. This is really nice. I happen to love floral fragrances. So I really like this. This is like what I wish Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works is. It is fruity with a little bit of that cherry. It's like that 
floral cherry blossom added a burst of fruity cherry to make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this. My clam is super broken. Like, it doesn't even, it like, it barely stays closed. Like, one little, and it opens up. So, I need to melt this soon. All right. So, we have Bamboo Rainfall, Berry Sweet, Cake Me to Paradise, Evening Sky, Moon Orchid, Pink Berry Sandalwood, Sippin' Poolside, Sun Castles, Very Vanilla, and Wild Cherry and Sakura. Let me, real quick... My least favorite is very sweet. Then, Sun Castles. Then, Sippin' Poolside. Evening Sky. Wild Cherry Sakura. Moon Orchid. Take Me to Paradise. Pink Berry Sandalwood. Bamboo and Rainfall, and my favorite on Cold Sniffs, Very Vanilla. Yep. Oh my gosh. Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. Melanie. Melanie, if you're watching this right now, you're going to love Very Vanilla. You're going to love this. I already know it. Because it gives warm vanilla sugar vibes. Very lightly, but it gives that vibe. All right, guys. Now... You guys know, I love my Scentsy. I've given up on vendor wax, and Scentsy is my choice of wax melts. I have Scentsy going all around me. I love it. If you guys want to support my Scentsy business, I will leave my link down below. There's no pressure. As always, I love you. Make it a better world and be kind. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. The new Sensi catalog launches March 1st. Let me know again by shooting me an email or a DM on Instagram. Anyway, you can get a hold of me and I will send a catalog your way. Bye, guys.